So you downloaded the boarding mod, you installed it correctly, replaced the required files, but for some reason the entire model is completely pink. Well in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix this issue. Now to fix this you're going to need a few minutes spare time and access to your C drive. And I'm talking about the root of it, not like the drive in general. Anyway, let's get on with the fix. So, to fix this, we're going to need NIFScope version 1.1.3, as newer versions of NIFScope don't work that well with Bully. Anyway, um, what we need to do is we need to go to our mod download. In this case, I'm using Xdipper's Beta Gary mod. We open it and see what's inside. Now, um, this won't work for all mods because each mod I found is different, but the process is basically the same. Anyway, um, what we need to do first is if the mod archive comes with a .tga file, like here, go to your C drive, create a textures folder, and create another folder inside here. Like here, I've already got it here, Beta Gary, but I'm going to overwrite it anyway. And then using NIFScope, if we go back to our folder, double click your NFT file. Now, if Windows by default will come up with something like this. If you're on Windows 10, it will say, like, find another app on this PC. So, if you're on Windows XP, 7, Vista, 8, whatever, go to select a program from the list of installed programs and click OK. Now, sometimes Windows will automatically detect NIFScope. If not, go to Browse, go to wherever NIFScope is installed. By default, it's in C, Program Files, x86, NIF Tools, and then NIFScope, and then NIFScope.exe. And make sure always use the selected program to open this kind of file is checked. Then just make sure you select NIFScope on there and click OK. Now Windows will do a quick refresh and then you'll see this open. Now you see this here, see program files, false ID, nemesis Gary. Right click this and click texture. Now what I said earlier about how this may not work for some, this is what I mean by how it varies. Because some mods I found will have the option to export or to choose. If you see the option to export, click export and export it to C, textures, whatever your folder is called and extract it there. Then select choose, then, um, well yeah, then select choose and then go to your C drive again and find the extracted texture. So beta Gary, nemesis Gary underscore MD. Now sometimes, well, sometimes you will get an extra file pop up here saying um, what's it now? Block node, something like that. Or pixel block, something like that. Um, if it does, just right click it. It will usually appear underneath here. Um, right click it, click block, and then click remove. Now, do not do it on any of these, but um, yeah. Now, once you've done that, go to save as. Now, it'll say it's saving as a .nif. It won't. Click save. Nemesis Gary already exists, or whatever your mod is called. Select yes. Then we can close out NIF scope and reinstall the mod now. Now here I'm using the bully image console method, so we're going to install this, oh shit, <laughs> it's actually installed the fucking, uh, I'm an idiot, don't worry that won't actually break the game, but yeah as long as um, as long as long your NFT file is imported that'll be alright, I feel like an idiot for doing that but yeah I can delete it in a sec. And once it's done, um, obviously if you use an image tool this will be completely different. But press any key because it's done now. And then we go to play bully and see if our Gary mod's been fixed. I'll speed this part up since you probably don't want to stare at loading screens. Now for this, um, I'm using the super mod so I can easily spawn Gary, or change to Gary. But like, if you're not using the super mod then you're going to have to find the character, or weapon or whatever that was replaced. And there we go, Gary is no longer bright pink. So that's really it for this video, and um, if you have any questions below on, well, texture modding or anything like that, then feel free to ask. Well, texture fixed, um, texture fixed it. Fucking hell, I can't speak. Texture fixing. Bloody hell. 
Um, but yeah, like that's how you fix the pink textures. Um, if there's multiple textures with underscore D.TGA, then you'll need to do it for all those as well. Just so you know. So I know some characters do use multiple textures. Anyway, that's it, and thank you for watching.